Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing today? We are putting the iLife A10 robot vacuum through the stress test. And as most of you know, if you've seen my tests, they're all identical and they all have the same type of mess, which include white rice, chips, uh, 12 jelly beans, which I throw six on the carpet, six on the hardwood floor, and we see how well it can handle a big test. As you can see, a lot of debris. This is the 24th or 25th robot I put through this identical test. Some do great, some fail miserably, and we're gonna find out exactly how the iLife does for this particular test. They all run on the highest suction power. We send them out once, then we assess how well it did in the first job, and then we'll send it out again if need be to finish the job. Um, I am gonna keep this on its lowest side brush setting at about 5% because it does do a better job if the side brush is going a little bit slower. So should be a pretty good test. Hopefully this guy will do a good job and I can recommend him to you. That's why I do these tests because some robots can handle it with no problem. Others just do a terrible job. So wouldn't you want to stay away from the ones that do a terrible job? I would personally. So hopefully you enjoy these tests. And we're going to send out the eye life. As you can see, I have the suction on 100, the side brush on 5. And we are going to tell it to start cleaning. And hopefully, it does a great job. One thing I wish it would let me do, and I don't see that it will, is let me just set it to clean two times. That way, I won't even have to come back and dock. And we'll see how well it does with the 2x setting but it doesn't appear like that's in the app. It's kind of surprising because a lot of different ones have that option now. So I'll let this go for a couple of minutes, show you how it works. And then I'll set this up on a tripod for you guys and speed it up. That way you can see exactly how it does its own pattern and how it gets to every area in this test. And I'm really hoping this guy does a good job. All right, I'm going to set this up on a tripod and enjoy. If you're new, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and I would really, really appreciate it. All right, as you saw, it is already done with the first run and it is not doing a great job by any means. Now, there has been plenty of robots that have left this much after the first run, but in this test, we run them twice. So I will send this guy out one more time and we will see if it can clean up the rest of this mess. Another thing I don't do in this test is empty the dirt bin. I want to see if it can handle this big of a mess and get it all into the dirt bin. So that will not be emptied. And let's just go ahead and send it out again for the same exact run. I will say it cleaned that extremely quick at 11 minutes. That might be why it left such a big mess is it's almost too quick. Let's go ahead and send it out one more time. So this portion I usually do not record because it's basically going to do the same exact thing you already saw. So as soon as this is done, I'll come back and show you the job and how it did after two cleaning runs on the high suction power. Usually I'd say at least half the robots I've tested, 
I would say has done great overall after two runs. But then there's been a few that still look terrible after two runs. All right, I will be back after it's done and then we'll discuss about it. All right, we are done with test number two on 100%. What do you guys think? Do you think it did a much better job on that second run than it did the first? Let's take a look. So I'd say overall the carpet's looking pretty good. Not perfect, but overall not bad. Did leave some chip crumbs, a little bit of rice here and there. So I'd say probably a pass on the carpet. Definitely the lower end as far as the cleaning job in all 25 robots. Probably within the bottom 10, I would say. And then on the hardwood, it's not terrible, but it's really not good either. I've seen worse. Uh, obviously, there's been much better. Uh, the actual middle doesn't look terrible. Um, but the edge, you know, around the baseboards and these stairs, it left a ton of debris. So unfortunately, I would definitely put this robot in, I would say, without a doubt, the bottom 10 or so out of 25. So not, not the worst, but nowhere near the best. What did you guys think overall? Did you think having that run at the 5% side brush speed, it would do really good on the hardwood? I kind of thought it would have, but I was wrong. So for 279 though, it's really not too bad of a robot. Uh, I always compare all these to the Roborock, which the Roborock, once again, my S5 did that test beautifully, but you're looking at quite a bit more money. So you get what you pay for, if, if your budget is 300 or less, it's probably a decent option overall. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up this stress test. Let me know in the comments what you think. Would you buy this robot vacuum at 279 And uh, have yourselves an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one.